everybody, this is Javier Aparisi. Welcome back to JAW Media. Today we're going to talk about the Canon Rebel 3Ti and the Polaroid underwater housing, which we are using at this moment to film ourselves out in the water. Hi everybody, we're now back on dry land. We actually have uh, the Polaroid dive rated hard waterproof case here inside the box. We're going to quickly open the box and see what comes out. Of course, we have the case here. We've used it before. Uh, we've added 200 pound uh, test line uh, on either side here as additional straps. And uh, we have the original strap, that I'm, the black uh, strap that I'm holding. We're quickly going to unsnap the mechanisms here, the top holding mechanism, the bottom opening mechanism, and the side lock here. And that one you actually have to press and it's open. And now we can open the actual case and you can see the case here and all the items. Um, so we're going to quickly proceed to put the Canon Rebel inside and you know it, it takes a little practice make sure you have the 55 millimeter lens uh, it's the only one that's going to fit in here and, and you slide it into place here make sure that nothing is hindering anything and then you slowly close the lid and the way to do this is you first snap let's say the bottom here snap it close and then let's go to the top we're going to flip that over and make it catch here and then we'll close it shut and then the last thing we close is the side mechanism here and of course we forgot to do one thing which is and that's why i'm going to open it again and i keep on forgetting this um hold on just a second and, and of course it unsnaps. Okay, we're, we're, you need to make sure that when, when you close this, um, when you snap it in here, it kind of settles here, you know, just let it flap. Don't leave it like that, let it flap like this. And then you snap the top and the, and the lower fastening mechanism. And, and of course now the side uh, lock here, you just press that in and a, voila, you have a camera that is locked in place and you have a camera that is waterproof and then you can proceed to actually turn the camera on. 